looks like well, everybody is standing already uh, for the national anthem. We said, sung by Cali Adia. for a short prayer honoring our uh, fallen heroes. Heavenly Father, on this Memorial Day, we pray for those who courageously laid down their lives for the cause of freedom. May the example of their sacrifice inspire in us the selfless love of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the families of our fallen troops and fill their homes and their lives with your strength and peace. Holding us to answer the call to work for peace and justice, and thus think, and just, and thus seek the end to violence and conflict around the globe. We praise for Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the American Legion Post 1949, its members and the Ladies Auxiliary, I would thank, like to thank all of you for attending this 2021 Memorial Day ceremony. We have all gone through a very trying 14 months because of the COVID pandemic. Even though we had to scale down our Memorial Day ceremonies, we are still obligated to remember all of our military heroes who gave their lives for our country and our freedoms. Dover had many heroes who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Without their willingness to serve our country, we would not be here today as a free nation. I ask everyone here today to remember those brave men and women, not only today, but every day. They are true Americans. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, our officials, or our guest, Town Supervisor Richard Eno. Deputy Town Supervisor Andrew House, Town Councilman Jay Murphy, Town 
councilman and one of our members, Jan Maluda. And of course, our town clerk, Katie Palmer House. Dutchess County Legislator, Alan Sermon. And the New York State Senator, Sue Sereno. At this time, we'd like to have the memorial leaf be put in place by Auxiliary Member Josette St. Ange. This time, uh, I'd like to introduce a uh, speaker. Uh, we have two speakers today. First of all, uh, Town Supervisor Rich Eno. I worked uh, tirelessly with him. A lot of phone calls, a lot of emails. I don't know who's more nervous about this coming off today, that him or me. <laughs> it's my honor to introduce uh, Richard Eno. see a good friend of uh, Muggsy Herbert in the crowd. I had a dream last night, him telling me, okay, you know, don't take a long time like you normally do. <laughs> first, uh, I want to say hello to you all. This is the first time in a long time, even though this crowd isn't as large as normal. It's the first time in about 17 months since you've all given me the honor to stand here as your supervisor that we have finally gathered in 17 months. <laughs> thank all of you today. I thank our elected officials. I thank our veterans. I thank my brothers and sisters at the J.H. Ketchum Hose Company, the American Legion. Thank you all for being here today. It may be a little wet and cool, but nothing was going to stop us, like John said, from having a gathering today to honor and remember our veterans. Our American Legion members and veterans, they live for us, they work for us, they sacrifice for us, and that is why they deserve the honor that they all get on this day. Without your dedication and sacrifices, you all made your lives by defending our beloved country. We wouldn't be able to be here today doing what we do. Why can we do this? Because we are free. And you defended it, and we can't thank you enough. We stand in this veteran cemetery, and we honor, and we remember our fallen. They were fathers. They were mothers, brothers and sisters cousins, aunts and uncles, husbands and wives. They were family, they were friends, they were neighbors. They are no longer with us. Some made it home and they were able to tell the stories of what they experienced. They weren't always good stories, but memories of stories, both good and bad, that they always remembered the day they were no longer with us. We cherish the time we had, we miss them all, especially the ones that were very close to us, each and every one of us. For those who didn't make it home, their families had to deal with the fact that the last time they said goodbye was the last time. They didn't know that they wouldn't come home, but they prayed and they hoped each and every day. We stand here today because of those who made the choice or were made to defend our country. So please remember today and thank a veteran. But most of all, remember those who have left us and are just now in our thoughts, our memories on this Memorial Day. If you get together with friends or family today, please take a moment. Thank a veteran in person or in spirit or in prayer. 
raise a glass to make a toast, however you choose to do it, make sure it's with honor and respect and with the utmost appreciation. There are certain lines in many different songs such as, let freedom ring, God bless the USA, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. Land of the free and home of the brave. But with those last two lines, some say it a little differently, and they say it like this. We are the land of the free because we are the home of the brave. God bless America most important of all. I thank each and every one of you for coming out today. And always remember our veterans and our servicemen and women. We are Dover strong, and we are one town, and we are the town of Dover. And everybody have a great and blessed Memorial Day, and remember and thank our veterans. At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, a New York State Senator who's uh, backs the veterans like you wouldn't believe. Uh, I see her on uh, Facebook. She uh, stands up for her constituents and for the veterans. Um, it's my honor to introduce New York State Senator Sue Serino. now asked to, uh, to raise the flag full staff.
Thank you, Ryan. Before I close, I want to thank Supervisor Richard Yino and the town of, town of board, Dover Town Board, for their help and guidance to make this day go as smooth and safe as possible. Also, thank you to Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro for his daily updates on this pandemic. Last but not least, thank you to Girl Scout leader Bridget Byrne and her daughter Emily for helping me place over 275 flags in this cemetery. This concludes this year's Memorial Day ceremonies. Once again, thank you for attending. Go out today and enjoy your cookouts, your family, and friends. Probably won't be doing much swimming. <laughs> and most of all, all of you be safe. I hope to see you next year when hopefully we will back, be back as before with our parade and ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you.